So I've been going now for three weeks. Been at this uh, co-living, co-working space down near Mandrim and uh, been working very hard. Got a new uh, startup project and I launched my new company, Send Music. <laughs> and I've even been roped in to advertise this place. Check out my little uh, advert video now. Hey, I'm Ben and I'm cycling around the world. One of the cool things as well, which brought me here, I met a pilot in Bulgaria who said, don't go to the Himalayas, uh, especially around Christmas. Come to Goa because there's girls, there's parties, and there's paragliding. So, so far, I've done very few of that. So this weekend, I'm gonna do both. Today I'm heading out uh, to um, the Arambol Cliffs, which I've, uh, I've scoped out before. My friend with the drone's coming. Uh, and then afterwards, I'm gonna go uh, down to Anjuna Beach for a party. So let's do it. This is paragliding in Goa. If you want to know where to go, you start off at Arambol Beach and you hike up what's called Arambol Mountain. It's only about 50 or 60 meters maximum above the sea and it's forested cliffs. On the next weeks across, there's uh, a paragliding tandem operator who you can speak to. Um, they're sort of 
not too friendly, they won't give you too much advice. And there's a bigger launch on the next hill opposite the other beach, but that's about a half an hour hike away. I'd say if you're an experienced paraglider pilot, there's not a lot of exciting flying here. But if you want to come along with your family on a holiday and have a nice evening flying every single day, it's got launches for you. The other thing is the cliffs are only about 100 to 150 meters wide. The um, onshore winds aren't massively strong and there's tandem operators that are busy every single day. So you have to have sharp elbows to get flying here. Overall, it's not the most amazing spot, but that's what you get for balancing out food and partying. Next, I'm off to beer uh, in the Himalayas, which should be a little bit more adventurous.